Welcome to section 5, which is volume of pyramids and cones. In the last video, we talked about volumes of prisms and cylinders. Today, we're going to do volume of pyramids and cones. So our objective, as you can probably guess, is to calculate the volume of pyramids and cones. Just as a review, volume is all the stuff inside of the figure. So surface area is the outside, it's like the wrapping paper. Volume is all the stuff on the inside. We remember that the volume of prisms and cylinders was the same. The formula was the same. You had volume equaled the area of the base multiplied by the height. Well now pyramids and cones also have the same formula. This time volume is going to be one-third the area of the base multiplied by the height. So let's jump into example. Example number one it says calculate the volume of the solid shown. So this one is a triangular pyramid It has one base, and that base is a triangle. That base is this triangle right here. So because this is a pyramid, my volume is going to be one-third area of the base multiplied by the height. Okay, so my base is a triangle. So it's going to be one-half base times height. Four is the base of the triangle. Six is the height of the triangle. And then the height of the entire pyramid is this nine. Okay, and let's do a little simplifying. Half of 4 is 2, so I get 2 times 6 times 9. Okay, 2 times 6 is going to be 12. One third of 12 is 4. So 4 times 9 is going to be 36. So my volume is 36 meters cubed. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, obviously, not all problems are going to be this simple. They're going to get more complicated. Like example number two. It says calculate the exact volume of the solid shown. Okay, so this one is a cylinder. So my volume is going to be one-third the area of the base multiplied by the height. This time, our base is a circle. So it's going to be pi r squared. So the volume is really one-third pi r squared times height. And this is where I leave you. I would like you to finish this problem on your own. Pause the video and come back when you are finished. Good luck. Okay, let's see how we did. Volume equals one-third area of the base, which is pi 2.2 squared times the height, which is 4.5. In my calculator now, I'm going to do one-third 2.2 squared and 4.5. When I do that, I get my answer to be 7.26 pi. This would be your exact answer. That's approximately... 22.808 centimeters cubed. And that's your final answer. Um, I would like your answer left as the 7.26 pi because that's exact. But if you gave an approximate answer, we're just learning, so that's okay. Okay, so that one shouldn't have been too difficult. But example three definitely steps up our game a little bit, and it's certainly more difficult. So volume... I mean, example three, it says you know what to do, so calculate the volume. This is a hexagonal pyramid, so the base is a hexagon. So my volume is going to be one-third area of the base multiplied by the height. Now when I'm talking about the base, I'm talking about that hexagon. So I need to start by finding the area of the hexagon. Now this figure is kind of difficult for me to see, so I'm going to redraw the hexagon. Okay, and I know all the sides are four. Okay, so we're going to find the area of this hexagon. We've done this a bunch this chapter, a bunch last chapter, but we're going to start by breaking it up into triangles. And then I'm going to have to find this height. I know that four splits two and two. Now, I'm going to leave you to finish the problem. Pause the video. Try this one on your own, please, and come back with an exact volume. So as a hint, you're going to have a radical in your answer. 
Good luck. Okay, so next you should have done 360 divided by 12 and you get 30. That tells us that this little angle up here is 30 degrees. So I have a 30, 60, 90, L, L root 3, and 2L. Okay, across from the 30 is 2, so then I get 2 root 3 and 4. So my height is 2 root 3. Okay, so one triangle is going to be 1 half my base of 2, my height of 2 root 3, half and 2 cancel, so 1 triangle ends up being 2 root 3. But I have to remember there's 12 triangles here, so when I multiply by 12, I get the entire hexagon to be 24 root 3. And now I'm ready to go back up to my volume. So volume is 1 third area of the base, the base is the hexagon, and that area is 24 root 3 times my height of 11. Now some of us can simplify this pretty easily, some of us have a little bit more of a difficult time. So I don't really like that one-third, so I'm going to take care of the one-third right away. One-third times 24 is going to be 8. So this is really 8 root 3 times 11. Now 8 times 11 is going to be 88 root 3. It's volume, so I'm going to do yards cubed. So the final volume that you should have gotten is 88 root 3. Uh, that's an exact answer. If you converted it to a decimal, it would be 152.42 yards cubed. Again, this is how I want your answer left in exact form. Um, but if we're having difficulty with that, that's okay. We'll try to work around that, but please make sure you ask in class. So hopefully that one went well. Again, these regular polygons are coming up a lot, so you do need to know how to find the area of a regular polygon. Let's move on to the next page. Okay, so find the volume, please. Uh, this one I'm going to do with you, and then I'm going to let you do the next one on your own. So this is a cone. So the volume is going to be one-third the area of the base multiplied by the height. Sorry, I know that B looks a little weird. Um, so in this case, I have one-third. I don't know what the area of my base is, but I know that the height is 16. So the base is a triangle. So I'm going to have to do pi, I mean a circle. I'm sorry, the base is a circle. So I'm going to have to do pi r squared. The issue is that I don't know r. But I do have this angle that's 65 degrees. So I have a right triangle. I know one side. I know an angle. So that should set off Sokotoa. So I'm going to have to use trig. 16 is opposite of the 65. R is the adjacent. Opposite and adjacent, that's going to be tangent of 65 equals 16 over R. When I do cross products, I get 16 equals R times the tangent of 65. So R ends up being 16 divided by tangent of 65. Remember that it's going to give me a decimal. I get R to be 7.46. So let's go up and find the area of the base. My base is going to be pi times 7.46 squared. This ends up being 174.88 or 55.65 pi. Either one. Now, I'm going to use the answer with pi because I like to keep my answer in terms of pi. So I'm going to substitute that in, 55.65 pi. Now in my calculator, I'm going to do one-third times 55.65 times 16. And I get my final volume to be 296.81 pi feet cubed. Again, let's give an approximate answer just in case some of you did that. 
If you give an approximate answer, that's 932.45. Again, I would like your answer in terms of pi, but in this case, um, you have a decimal either way, so it doesn't really matter if you gave an approximate or an exact answer. Okay, move on to five. Okay, I'm going to help you with five, but let you finish it on your own, and then we'll do six together. So five says calculate the volume. So you're going to notice that this is a composite solid. So we took two solids and we put them together to form a new solid. So you notice we have a cube, and we added a pyramid. So I'm going to have to find the volume of both. The volume of the cube is going to be the area of the base multiplied by the height. The volume of the pyramid is going to be one-third area of the base multiplied by the height. I'm going to help you find the cube, and you're going to do the pyramid. Okay, so for the cube, this is my base right here. It's a square. So the base is going to be 6 times 6. And then the height of my cube is right here. It's going to be another 6. So the volume of the cube in total, total is 6 times 6 times 6, which ends up being 216. Okay, now pause the video. You find the pyramid, and then find the total volume, please. Come back when you are finished. Okay, you should have had enough time to try this one on your own. You should have gotten the total volume to be 288 meters cubed. If you didn't, you made a mistake. Please make sure you go back and find that mistake. I will answer any questions that you have in class tomorrow. Please make sure to ask. Um, we are going to move on to example number six. It says challenge. Okay, this one is going to be working backwards. I'm telling you this time that the volume is 7 root 3, and I'm asking you to find the height. So this is a pyramid, so the volume is going to be one-third area of the base multiplied by the height. Okay, so we're going to start by finding the area of the base. The base is an equilateral triangle where all of my sides are 2 root 3. Okay, so in order to find the area, it's going to have to be one-half base, which is 2 root 3, times the height. But that's what I'm missing. So I'm going to drop this in right here. I'm going to call it H. Okay, that 2 root 3 splits. It's going to split into root 3 and root 3. This is a 60, this is a 30. So now I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. It goes L, L root 3, and 2L. Across from the 30 is root 3. That tells me L is root 3. Across from the 60, then, is going to be L, which is root 3, times another root 3. Now, root 3 times root 3, that's root 9, which is just 3. And then across from the 90 is going to be 2 root 3. Well, my height, then, is 3. Okay, so substituting, substituting that in to find the area, I now need to simplify. 1 half times 2 is just 1, so those cancel. So I end up with root 3 times 3, so my area is 3 root 3. So this is big B, this is the area of the base. And now I'm going to substitute that back into my volume formula. So my volume is 1 third area of the base, which is 3 root 3, times the height of the prism, or the height of the pyramid, I mean, which is x. Now I'm ready to simplify. 1 third times 3 is just 1. Those cancel each other. So I get volume equals root 3 times x. Now I already know that the volume is 7 root 3. So I have 7 root 3 is equal to root 3 times x. If I'm solving for x, I'm going to divide by root 3 and divide by root 3. Those root 3's cancel. Those root 3's cancel. And I get x equals 7. So that wasn't too bad. Um, the process is not very difficult. It's the algebra behind it that's a little difficult. So if I went too quickly, please make sure that you rewind and watch that problem again. If you're good and you understood what I did, move on. 
Okay, did we accomplish the objective? Our only objective was to calculate the volume of pyramids and cones. So either way, the volume is going to be one-third area of the base multiplied by the height of the, the pyramid or the cone. Um, here's your problem to do tomorrow. I would like you to find the volume of the, the cone shown. And I'm going to tell you that it can be approximate, which means you can have a decimal. You don't have to keep pi in your answer. Um, when you come to class tomorrow, I want to see work on all the problems completed. That means the problems that I showed work for, the problems I didn't show work for, and this problem. The extra examples at the bottom you don't have to do. We will do those together when you come to class. Now, please try the objective problem. If you're confused on what to do, rewind the video a little bit and rewatch an example. Good luck.